Well, as you can tell, we're going topless. Well, kind of, sort of. Hey, welcome back to Trending on Shaw. Why do some Calgarians do what they do? For some, it's the attention, but for others, it's the cause. In this case, going topless for epilepsy. Let me introduce you to who's here on the panel today. It's Kathy Fife, who's the Executive Director of Epilepsy Association of Calgary. Hi, Kathy. Hi, good morning. Uh, you are, uh, you are uh, beside you. We have Rob Bayless, and we also have Ethan Drake. Drage. Drage, who should be in school right now, but he doesn't care. And why not? You're talking about a great cause, and this is a good thing. Kathy, first and foremost, Bare Naked Noggins is the name of this big event happening on Thursday. These two gentlemen are going to go topless. Yes, they are. Yes, and it's Thursday, November 13th. No, I'm sorry, in two weeks. That's yes. right. So when you say, yes, they certainly are, what do we mean by they're going topless? They're not just removing their shirts. Uh, no, there will be no clothing removed at all, just hair. <laughs> They're shaving their heads for the Epilepsy Association of Calgary. And the reason for this, why, why I mean, they, they don't, let's be honest here. This gentleman here, Rob, you know, he's a little older. He doesn't have much hair. <laughs> but, <laughs> sorry, Rob, let's be honest. <laughs> so, he's, he's, we're not going to save his hair for anything. Why, what's the event, what's the reason for this kind of uh, fun, if you will? It's to raise uh, funds and awareness for the Epilepsy Association of Calgary, specifically our public education program. And the roots were um, in Ethan's school in support of a, a youngster that had epilepsy. Um, Ethan started this event in his school when he was nine years old. So here's this gentleman at nine years old. Maybe tell the story. At nine years old, you decided you wanted to do something, Ethan. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there was a... There was a girl in my class who had epilepsy, and uh, she had to wear a surgical mask at all times. She couldn't go outside at recess. Her mom had to be with her at all times. And I just, I didn't think it was very fair, so I went to my uh, vice principal and my principal and talked to my mom, and we, uh, we organized a school head shave at the school. Mm. Without going door-to-door -to -door or anything, our little school of like 300-something kids raised $11,000. Are you serious? What was it, what's the name of the school? Uh, Halting Memorial. At the time, did you think you'd stay in touch with this young lady? Um, I'm sure she was very thankful. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I was hoping I would, yeah. But to this day, you don't know where she is or? Actually, she goes to my high school. No kidding. Yeah. That's great. After, like, I, didn't, I hadn't seen her since like grade five and then saw her again uh, this wow. year, actually. Yeah. Is she still wearing that mask? No. Things have changed for her. And a, a large part of it is because of this little program that you decided to do when you were nine years old. You should be very proud of yourself, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm sure your parents and, and uh, are very proud as well. This gentleman to your right, Kathy, Rob, is also involved. And maybe explain to us, Rob, why you got involved in this. Well, this is uh, my first year. Um, unfortunately, I've, uh, I've joined the epilepsy family in a very tragic way. Yeah. Uh, in 2008, my, uh, my oldest daughter was diagnosed with epilepsy. And through the years, uh, we've been trying to chase the, the medications and, and try to get her seizure free. Unfortunately, last summer, uh, 2013, um, she drowned in Mahogany Lake. And so that was kind of, you think you know enough, yeah. you, think, uh, you, you think you're aware of all the risks and, and everything, and then uh, one little slip up and my daughter's gone. So I'm, I'm here to help raise awareness and to say that, you know, um, when you think you've got it under control or you think you know as much as uh, you need to know, you don't. So um, I'm here to help raise awareness and, and help support uh, spreading the word out to make sure that people really do treat this as a very serious condition. It's yeah, the loss of, of anyone, especially your own child, can, can just devastate a family. And uh, as a parent myself of two kids, um, I can't understand what you're going through, but I can empathize with what you're going through. And the fact that you're sharing this with Calgarians mm -hmm. is, um, is quite a testament to you and your strength. So I want to thank you for doing this personally. Thank you. This is, uh, you hear these stories, Kathy. They're heartbreaking. They're, they're in, they're, they're, uh, you want to make a difference, and you feel that you are making a difference with an event like this. And it's important that people understand what this is? Uh, epilepsy is not a benign condition. Um, as, as Rob has shared, epilepsy carries 
certain risks for certain people. Um, they, they are the exception, not the rule, but people that are in any way affected with epilepsy need to understand what epilepsy is and they need to understand what their risks are. They need information and they need support and that's what the Epilepsy Association of Calgary exists to do. That's what we're here for. Is it too late to get involved? No. Uh, okay. Registration for the Bare Naked Noggins goes until November 10th and we could definitely use a couple more noggins. We have 17 at this point. Yes, We'd yes. love to have a couple more. I bet. <laughs> Unfortunately, my noggins already been spoken <laughs> for, but I appreciate that. EpilepsyCalgary.com. Thank you all for being a part Thank of you. this and uh, congratulations on the success of this event. Thank you. And um, great to have you all here. Thank you very much for sharing your stories. Yes. Uh, there's a lot of things also happening in our city, including the African Crafts and Business Trade Show. It's the first African Crafts and Business Trade Show taking place at the Inglewood Community Hall on Saturday. This Saturday, showcasing a number of Calgary area businesses with a focus on the African market. If you'd like more information, www.acbtradeshow.com. This is Trending on Shaw.